Lake City. Why are you in Utah? And I ask that because if you didn't campaign in Utah and Ted Cruz won 50 percent of the vote, uh, then you deny Donald Trump any delegates, which actually helps your path to getting to Cleveland in a contested convention. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, we, we, look, I'm in Utah. You know why? Because I'm running for president and because I want people to understand what is a good, positive message <clears throat> with a record of accomplishment. But do you want to win? I mean, yeah, but, but Chuck, I'm going to compete across the country and tell people who I am and let the chips fall where they may. And let me also tell you, no one, no one is going to that convention with enough delegates. I will have more delegates moving in there that will give me momentum. And then the delegates are going to decide who can win in the fall, because the other guys can't win in the fall. Hillary will be president. And secondly, I've got the record, the experience, and the vision and the ability to bring people together to be a good president. That's we why saw, I'm doing well, this. Well, we I'm, saw the evidence, though, of what happens <clears throat> when there's three people in and two anti-Trump uh, candidates split the vote. Missouri and Illinois, Donald Trump cleaned up on delegates. If you go about this in New York and Pennsylvania and some of these other states, you and Cruz could end up handing more delegates to Trump inadvertently. Well, maybe Ted ought to get out because he can't win in the fall. And maybe these people that are hot on that, uh, you know, ought to tell him to do it. You know, they try to tell me to get out of the race. How many times, Chuck? And th now You're they right. should be Quite thanking me for staying in because if, if Trump... If Trump had win Ohio, it would be over. I have a record of accomplishment, a record of bringing people together, a vision for the future of this country. Mm -hmm. And guess what? In the grassroots, people are getting it. Now, they didn't get it because, frankly, you put me on the tube a lot. But Trump got, you know, $1.8 right. billion dollars worth of free media. I got, like, none, okay? Well, not all of his so free media was very, start, was very positive. People are starting <laughs> to hear me, and they're start, we're starting to rise. If, Look at what our numbers are. If you, you know, I if mean, you thought your candidacy were helping Trump, not hurting him, would you get out? Chuck, I'm running for president. This isn't a parlor game of who gets this or who gets that. But you're stuck with I a parlor believe, game. I, I understand listen, that, I'm but you're you. stuck having to play a parlor game because your only no, path I'm not playing, no, is the Chuck. convention. How's that? That's okay, the ultimate I'm, parlor game. I am not playing a parlor game. The convention is an extension of the process of nominating somebody. I was there in 76 when Reagan challenged the sitting president. They didn't like him doing it either. But you know what? His vision, his message mattered. Listen, nobody's going to that convention with enough delegates. And at the end, you know why I'll get picked? Because I can win in the fall. And secondly, because I have the experience and the record to lead, to, uh, lead this.